Good day, students. Um, in this clip, we're going to be going over the five top tips to help you pass the math regions exam. Uh, this includes tips that can help you pass the integrated algebra, geometry, algebra two trick, um, regions exams. So this is based on popular demand. I've spent uh, a lot of years teaching math and making solutions for the regions exam. So I just thought it would be helpful to compile a list of some really good tips that can help you do well on your regions exam. We have a wide and growing collection of math tutorials on math.serve.com. On the test prep.html, we have the solutions to a lot of release items um, of the New York Regents exam. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the um, tips. Tip number one, you want to study the release questions like crazy. Now, what, is that, what do I mean by study the release questions like crazy? Well, the highest level of craziness I can think of is if you see a question, a release test question, can you tell what test the, what um, year and month the exam was? Can you tell what the correct answer is just by looking at it? Can you tell why all the wrong answers are wrong? If you approach that level, of understanding of all the questions and all the released um, regions exam in the past at least six to seven years, then you should be in pretty good shape. Okay, that's an extreme case, but you want to really study all the released questions. So the big question is how do you study the released questions? Now that's really important. You don't just look at the problem, try to look at the answer. You want to make sure you simulate the examination session. You want to sit in a closed room with no distractions, no Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of that should be shut up. You have your test, and then you focus on working through the entire multiple choice or free response question. Make sure you show your work for every single problem. Even some that are intuitive, write down what your rationale is for that problem you solve. If you do not have any solutions, anything to look at when you're fixing your work, you're going to have problems in the future, okay? So make sure you're in a good testing environment, in a private room, preferably, no TV, nothing on, and then work through every single problem. Now, what do you do if you get to a problem that you do not understand? Should you skip it? The answer is no. Try and make an educated or informed guess as to what you think the correct answer is. And rather than just circling one, two, three, or four, Write down what you were thinking when you selected that answer. So when you're correcting it later on, you can know if your thought process was accurate or off. So make sure you show work and rationale for all problems. No excuses, okay? All right, next piece is also connected to this um, part one. Study what you study. Now, what on earth does that mean? Study what you study. Now, after you take a test, you say you get, let's say you got 90%? Is that it? Absolutely not. You have to go back and carefully scrutinize your solutions. You want to pay <clears throat> close attention to all the problems you got wrong. You can view your practice test sessions as a diagnosis, a diagnosis, okay? So if you are diagnosed for a particular condition, what do you do? You take measures to address whatever condition you or def deficiency you have. So now that you've taken the diagnostic, you want to go back and closely examine all the problems you got wrong and look for ways to fix it. Why did I get this problem wrong? How can I correct that mistake? How do I avoid making that same mistake in the future? So what if you do not know the solutions to a problem? Well, we have a collection of um, solutions video tutorials on this uh, link right here. I should have it hyperlinked. Just click on it, and after taking the practice test, you just go back, and you can skip ahead to whichever problem that you got wrong, and listen to the explanation of those solutions, all right? And then make sure you have that in the back of your mind. Now, after knowing how to do the wrong problems, what do you do? You go back on a blank sheet of paper and do those same problems again. I know it sounds silly, but it's very important. You have to do those problems you got wrong again, even though you know the answer. Okay, try and do it without looking at your notes. If you get it wrong, then you have to go back and review your notes again or the videos and then 
uh, try and do it without looking at the at the answers. Okay, so you can see the importance of studying here. You don't only study, but you also study what you've studied to make sure that all your deficiencies are completely addressed before the day of the exam. Okay, and tip number three is to underline keywords. All right, that is very very important. You want to underline keywords. Well, what are the keywords? Well, if you're solving a word problem, for example, there are certain pieces of information that you are asked to find or certain things that you have. You want to underline those keywords. There might be certain vocabulary words there, like you're asked to find the solutions to a quadratic equation. You ask for a point. You ask for the slope, the y-intercept. Underline those keywords so you make sure that you are answering what the question is asking you to find. All right. Also, formulas. You also want to underline the related formula you think is associated with the problem. For example, you might be given the length of a shape and you're asked to find the area or the surface area of a shape with a given side length. So you want to know that you're looking for area, you underline the area area word, and then you make sure that you're using the formula that is associated with the key uh, term that you provided with. When underlining keywords, sometimes you're you given a bunch of answers and you're asked which is not correct. Everything here qualifies as a function except. So words such as except, not, those words are really important. In most cases, they're italicized, sometimes not, but underline these words to make sure that you're looking for solutions that do not satisfy the uh, initial condition, all right? So keywords are very, very important. Also, when you're studying, if there are certain vocabulary words that are interfering with your understanding of the problem, make sure you know exactly what those words mean so that you're answering the correct uh, question. All right, next um, tip, tip number four, draw sketch illustrate now this tip cannot be overemphasized if the problem is in word form and it's talking about a rectangle you draw the rectangle if the problem is talking about a plane flying in angles of um uh it's talking about bearing a certain degrees and distances you want to sketch if it's talking about the graph and certain things happening with a graph you want to sketch. And this tip is critical when we're talking about geometry and also trigonometry when you're talking about shapes such as triangles or looking about um, solving for angles and things of that nature when you're writing a proof. You want to give yourself a visual, especially when a formula is connected to um, parts of a shape or an algebraic equation is connected to part of a shape. You want to make sure you have a sketch or illustration composed and make sure it's accurately um, labeled, okay? Make sure it's accurately labeled. Sometimes you might be asked to find a pattern or to generate um, possible outcomes of a probability tree. In that case, you want to draw excellent illustrations to show, to help you get, um, arrive at the possible combination. So please, where applicable, you want to draw, sketch, or illustrate to give you a visual um, reference as to what the problem is talking about. All right, and then the last tip, it has to do with your tools. For the Regents exam, there are certain tools that um, you are going to be provided with. You want to really know these tools. You want to know what you have and what you do not have. You think about going into a battle. You don't want to go into the battle thinking you have a gun and then you don't have that gun with you, you know. When you go into battle, you want to know exactly what your tools are so that when um, the battle starts, you know how to defend yourself. So that's exactly what the situation is when taking the, the exam. You have a calculator. You can use a calculator. Do you know how to use that calculator? Is your calculator in a good working condition? Is the screen broken? Batteries is key. You want to make sure that you have um, functional batteries in your calculator. If you if you um, if you know how to use a TI-89 or 83 calculator, for example, and your battery runs out during the test, the school could your school could provide you with another calculator, but you might not know how to use it. And think about how damaging 
that could be to your test score. All right, so if you want to use a calculator, you must know how to use that calculator. You want to take full advantage of all the tricks, shortcuts that that calculator can use to help you get the right answer, okay? Some formulas you will be provided with, some formulas you will not be provided with. You need to know what formulas you have and what formulas you must memorize before you start the exam, all right? So please consult your reference sheet, look at the formulas you're provided with, and then note the formulas you do not have, you have to commit those to memory in order for you to be successful um, on the exam. All right, so these are the five top tips that um, will help you to be successful, but the most important one is tip number one, which is study, study, study. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this uh, tutorial. Um, please feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool clips such as this. And if there are other cool tips you found successful in helping you pass your Regents exams in the past, please post it in the comment section so that other people can see it and benefit. Also, um, you can also post a comment to let us know what you think about the tips we provided here. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Under test prep.html, you can find um, tutorials explaining how to solve a lot of previously released questions. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.